pleased to be able to introduce Ellie Godsey, a very well respected and successful carp angler and someone who has been helping with the development of quest bait since the very, very early days. So Ellie, can you tell us a little bit about the fish that you've caught using quest? I can honestly say that my uh, fishing has been completely revolutionised since I've been using the bait. Uh, I've gone on to catch uh, a PB mirror in France of 55 pounds and um, I've caught six different 40s from three different countries since I've been on the bait, uh, including a 40 pound common, which has always been a dream of mine. And uh, I've smashed not only uh, my UK records, my, my French records, um, and I, I just can't speak highly enough about the bait. It's, it's, it's really taken my fishing on to another level. Okay. And tell us now then, tell us something about some of the more memorable catches that you've had in this period. Giving my, giving my age away here, I, I had my 40th birthday at the beginning of the year uh, and spent a while deciding what I was going to do for my 40th and lots of people dream about going to far, fun, far flung places and um, I decided to take myself to South Africa for uh, a treat on my 40th birthday. Um, I'd never caught a 30 pound common before um, and it had always been a dream of mine uh, to catch a really big common and uh, I spent a week on Donaldson at the beginning of the year, just at, at the, when, when I had my birthday. Uh, and I experienced um, the most crazy, manic uh, 48 hours of fishing I've ever had in my life on, on the uh, crab specials. Um, I, uh, I was getting runs every half hour, every hour, solidly for the first two days. Um, not only did I catch my first 30 pound common, I went, to, went on to catch 12 30 pound commons that week. I had uh, three in 90 minutes at one point during the manic phase. I had five in, in, in four hours. Um, and then the very last fish I caught that week was a 40 pound eight ounce common, which was, was just complete dream time for me. Um, and I, I, I can honestly say I've never experienced anything like it. I mean, it w wasn't straightforward fishing. It was rowing baits out 150 yards at a time and, and having three or four rods out the whole time. Um, and if anyone thinks it's just a case of turning up and, you know, rowing your baits out and dropping them off, there, was, there were two other people fishing at the time um, and they didn't get a run uh, for three days. Um, and, uh, and it was getting so silly at one point. I literally, I wasn't stopping. That one, of the, one of the guys almost just stopped talking to me at one point. Because uh, I just everything was just manic. I've never experienced anything like it. Um, so that was a very memorable trip and a really good way to celebrate my 40th birthday. And as I say, to to finish up with a 40 pound common was just was just, oh, just, just a complete dream time. I mean, everyone's everyone's had dreams of Richard Walker's Clarissa, and you know that's something I grew up with as a as a child. And to actually have a 40 pound common in in my arms is just fantastic. So. Um, that was very memorable. Right at the beginning of uh, the development of the fruit trifles, um, Sean asked me if I would um, test them out. I mean, it's not just about flavour levels, it's also about consistency and whether they stay on the hook and that sort of thing. It's not just about um, the basic flavours, it's also about composition. And Sean said to me, could you try these out? Um, a friend of mine at the time asked me if I would field test a, a new lake in France that had never been fished before. So I thought, well, okay, I'll take the trifles. I was really confident with crabs, really reluctant to use anything other than that because I'd had so many good fish on the crab specials. Um, first night on the water, this is a water that never seen any bait before. Uh, I had a brace of 30s on the first night. Uh, so I'm already pretty pleased and pretty confident that, that the fruit trifles are an instant bait. Uh, second night, late record, 46 pound, eight ounce, also on the fruit trifles. Um, you know, again, just a dream time. And uh, so much, much phoning and texting of Sean to say, I think you're on a bit of a winner here with this bait. <laughs> so uh, that, that was a very, you know, massive success. Um, and I've just, you know, I've just, I've had some fantastic catches in France. Like I said, I've had a, a 55 pound um, four ounce mirror, which was uh, my French PB. Uh, I had a 47 pound mirror, 51 pound sturgeon, and uh, uh, a 40 plus sturgeon all in the same week, um, all on the crabs. So uh, again, it's a bait that I've got a lot of confidence in. Um, and then um, 
I guess one of the highlights of my, my fishing career so far uh, was being invited to a, a very hush hush private estate lake um, in Wiltshire that doesn't get very fished very often. Um, again, it's not a bait water, it's not a water where they've seen a lot of bait and um, I, I can't say too much about the venue but uh, suffice to say that I managed to catch a, a, a lake mirror record of uh, just a few ounces short of 50 pound um, and to get something like that from the UK I think that that speaks volumes for the quality of the bait um, especially as it, it's not a water where they'd seen the bait before so um, pretty happy with that. As you say I think the main thing about bait, bait is confidence, it's, it's all about confidence if you've got confidence in it then you, you're, you've got a head start on anybody else. It, it, it makes a really big difference when you've cast out you're just not worried about if a fish comes across this is it going to be suspicious of the bait I mean I've just got confidence that if I've got my baiting situation right the bait is in the right area that I will get a pick up um, I've left bait out for three days at a time you know there's been times when you think oh, I should reel in and you think well why am I reeling in just to put it back on the same spot I've left the bait out um, Sean does the hard hooker, pe uh, hard hooker boilies um, super hard uh, boilies to go on the hooks and you can put those out. I've had them on for three days and I've had a pick up and I, I, I just know if I get everything else right, a fish comes across the bait, wants to feed, I'm going to get a pick up. That's how confident I am of the bait. <laughs>